Well, we did not see Nikon's Key Mission 360 coming. A mirrorless to rival Sony and Panasonic? Maybe, but a fully spherical 360 VR action camera? That just seemed like too many leaps for Nikon. In a way, Nikon's been putting the pieces in place for a while now. It's been releasing a steady stream of shock-proof, freeze-proof, waterproof point-and-shoot cameras. It's been implementing vibration reduction into its lenses since 2000, and really it's come a long way in video since the D90. But even with all that, <clears throat> the Key Mission 360 feels completely fresh. While GoPro has been figuring out how to circle the wagons into a 16-camera 3D VR rig, Nikon has built a VR camera that's every bit like a next-gen GoPro. Critically, it can attach to all the same places that a GoPro can and go on all the same adventures. And the footage looks simple to, deliver, to deliver too. It could completely change news gathering for social media. Online tutorials, adventure tour brochures, real estate walkthroughs, the list really could be endless. It's coming around March in 2016 and Nikon has told us it will definitely be under $1,000. So keep in touch and we'll bring you all the news and details when we have them. At CES in Las Vegas, we had the chance to talk with adventure filmmaker Corey Rich about his experiences as the first person to get his hands on a Key Mission 360 and how it changed his approach to filmmaking. Here's Corey. Hi, I'm Corey Rich, Nikon USA ambassador, and I'm an adventure photographer and filmmaker. My passion is really to tell stories. I feel really fortunate that I had the opportunity to work on the Key Mission 360 project because it's so rare in our careers that we get to work with a tool that's truly that innovative and new and fresh and so undefined, the whole virtual reality 360 space. So there was a lot of really pioneering or exploring or figuring out in the process. How do you shoot with a camera that shoots in a sphere, that shoots top, bottom, right, left, back, forward? You know, there's no hiding from the camera. There's no front of the camera or back of the camera. And that's a pretty exciting space to be in because I've spent the 20 previous years of my life behind the camera. Um, we ended up going to uh, Veracruz, Mexico to shoot kayaking with Alec Voorhees and then rock climbing in California, Bishop, California with Ethan Pringle and Georgie Abel. And then my colleague Dane Henry went to Moab, Utah with Rebecca Rush, one of my very close friends. And it was really, really fun to actually see what the footage looked like and really try to wrap our heads around how can this tool be used because that's what's really clear. There's so much potential for shooting in VR and 360, both for consumers and for guys like me that take filmmaking seriously, and it's our career. As soon as we started using the camera, we realized, the entire team, that it was really sharp, that the lens actually looked fantastic, razor sharp image. And that's really a quality of Nikon in this brand, Nikkor Glass. It's, you know, amazing lenses. Uh, we noticed as well that the tonal range was quite nice. It, 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 you know, what that camera is doing is remarkable. How do you expose for a 360 when there's a highlight on one side and a dark shadow in the background? And someone back in Japan has a huge brain with a lot of intellect that wrote the algorithm or the code to deal with exposing for a 360 degree field of view, a sphere field of view. Um, the microphone, pretty incredible. Really high quality sound, sharp crisp sound. Definitely will be using that in final edits. That's not common in action cams, small cameras, high quality sound. In fact, it, it sounded pretty incredible even when wet, which was pretty remarkable in wet environments. To have VR built into the camera to stabilize the image, pretty incredible. All in all, I was pretty impressed that all of that technology was built into such a small form factor camera. There was kind of a reality check when we got into the field that, you know, I, we, so much planning went into the logistics and where we were going to shoot and the athletes and the boats that they were going to use and you know where we were going to stay and our timelines and sunrise, sunset. But none of us thought about this reality of the camera sees everything. And so you know we pressed record and realized we have to get out of the way. And so I spent a lot more time on this shoot laying behind bushes or hiding behind rocks 
or running down the street to go around the corner to allow the athletes to shoot without me in the frame. It's this new paradigm. The camera sees it all, and so if you don't want to be in the frame, you've really got to move. There is no safe zone, you know, camera right or camera left or behind the camera. It's pretty cool to be in that world. So the future is unknown. I'm excited to see what people do with it. I know I have a bazillion ideas, and now it's time to just get out there and try it.